In this video, I'm gonna show you what a typical day might look like for a foreigner here in the Philippines. We'll start off getting some coffee, breakfast, lunch, and maybe even some dinner. I'm gonna go ahead in my neighborhood and show you guys exactly what you might expect if you're in Cebu City, Philippines. As well, I'm gonna show you my apartment, show you exactly how much I'm paying and who you can contact to get an apartment like myself. So let's begin our day. I normally wake up between 8 or 9 a.m., make myself a coffee to save some money and because I need coffee instantly while watching some YouTube videos or checking out the news. Then I spend the next couple of hours editing my videos before I go downstairs, outside, and around the corner to Ayala Block. Now usually here I either get a coffee or have some kind of lunch, but depends on the day. The great thing about staying in IT Park, it's very close to Ayala Central Block where it has everything I need for my daily use. So as you can see, it's very close to Ayala Block, the other mall, the second Ayala Mall that's fairly new. I think it opened like a couple years ago maybe. Let's go inside there, get some coffee, and I'll show you guys a little bit more about this neighborhood that I'm staying in. By now, you should know that malls in the Philippines are very popular. And they pretty much have everything from clothing to food courts and even a supermarket downstairs. So uh, I'm gonna go get this coffee right now. I'll show you guys some more stuff around this area. Do you want to say hello to my vlog? <laughs> you can give me a hi. Weird, hi. Hi vlog, welcome to Pick Up Coffee. Nice, what's your name? My name is an answer. Nice to meet you. And how about you, what's your name? My name is Alex. Alex. Yes, thank you. So what's the name of your vlog so I could follow you? Yeah, it's called Living Abroad. Living Abroad. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Nice name. If you want some affordable, cheap clothing, check out Surplus here. It's got a lot of like uh, clothing for your gym or just wearing t-shirts and stuff. And right around the corner is Pick Up Coffee. So I got my coffee and there's two main reasons why I like Pick Up Coffee. Number one, the coffee is actually strong. So you can actually taste the, the coffee instead of just the milk. And number two, it's about half the price of Starbucks. So why not support some uh, small business instead of big corporation like Starbucks. Now this is IT Park and it's about 1.5 kilometer away from the main Ayala Business Park. I'm gonna go there right now. You can get there by taxi or you know jeepney or even like a little bus, but I'm gonna show you guys how I get there. Uh, Ayala Mall 50. Thank you. Then I just come here, spend the next two or three hours doing interviews. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of this like uh, background because this is where I meet most of the foreigners. They usually hang around here. Uh, a couple of popular places like TGI Fridays and Social Event, which is a bar. So if you're coming to Cebu City and you want to interact and network with some foreigners, that's where you can find them. Or Bose Coffee as well. So people just sit there and have a chat. So yeah, I spend the next uh, few hours from two to five here uh, doing interviews, putting in some work, boots on the ground, getting you guys those interviews. And then I go back to IT Park for some dinner. I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, I just got back into IT Park. I'm actually sitting at the, or standing or walking in the main park area. Over here is where they got the Park Social. Unfortunately, it closed down because they expanded the bus station and the owner wasn't able to renew the contract. Uh, I talked to him and I said, I was gonna sit down with him do a full interview because obviously Park Social is a very big landmark here in IT Park. A lot of foreigners and locals will go there. So I thought it'd be great to get his story of why uh, they could not renew the place. Anyways, so he said legally he can't say anything right now. One of my favorite things about staying in IT Park is this very big green area. It's like a park where people gather to play music or show off the anime costume. If you guys want to see the musical talents or these girls talk about the anime costumes, wait until the end of this video. You can watch everything in full length. But also the Super Mercado is over here so you can go get some food. We're going to go in there a second. But around 5 o'clock, around this time, after I do my interviews, I usually go to my favorite uh, milk tea place, chat time. So let's go grab a bubble tea, a milk tea, and then uh, after that, we'll go check out the night market. And this is my favorite place, chat time. Hello. Today is uh, my, no, a couple more days. You want to say hello to the uh, vlog? Hi. hi. <laughs> it's Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. One of my favorite people in Cebu, I must say. <laughs> hello. You want to be in the vlog? I don't want to put you on if you don't want to be. You want to say hello? What's your name? Alien. Eileen, can I get my uh, milk tea, please? Yeah, coffee milk tea with pearls. Pearls, yes, please. Normal sugar. Uh, zero sugar. Uh, zero sugar. All right. Thank you so much. Coffee. All right, so that bubble tea milk tea was delicious. I'm here at IT Park once again. We're going to get some dinner at Super Mercado. It's basically a food court here. I'll show you guys what I mean. First up is one of my favorite places, Cribs. This place has got Indonesian noodles. 
Hello, sir. Hello, sir. You want to say hello to my vlog? Hello, sir. And what's your name? Joey Paganya. And is this your place? Oh. Now you working here? Yes, I'm just oh, working here. Okay. You should own it soon, right? You've been here for a while. Uh, can I get the usual, please? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you so much. I'll show you guys the prices here. Um, anywhere from 195 pesos at cheapest 140. So on 130, actually, if you guys want some Indonesian food, my man here hooks me up every day. Not every day, but quite enough. Let's go get some uh, juice while we wait. Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Good. You want to be in my vlog today? You want to say okay. hello? Hello. Oh, what's your name? Uh, Rowan. Rowan, how old are you? I'm 19. 19, are you single? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. I think you guys are very friendly here. Uh, it's uh, Ali Mango. Um, they got a location in Ayala too, I think, so. You want no sugar again? Uh, yes, please. No sugar and less milk, please. Thank you. Let's take 200, sir, Alex. Thank you. You want to say hello to my vlog? Sir? You want to say hello? Hi! Uh, what's your name? My name is Gina. Gina. Okay, I like you, Gina. You're very friendly. <laughs> um, here's the menu. Okay, my other usual spot is Chef Joshua's Kitchen. Hello. You guys want to say hello to my vlog? We're going to be on... Hey! Hi, hello! <laughs> I'm back. Can I get the chicken poppers, please? Yes, original. Original. Thank you. So if you guys want to check out some crispy chicken burgers and pizzas, this is the place to be. Oh yeah, I gotta pay. I forget. Okay, with ice cream? Uh, no ice cream. No ice cream? Yes, okay. thank you. One tip if you're coming here, guys, you gotta come early to get a seat. Actually, it really packs up. It's only 5 o'clock, not even 4 o'clock, I think, right now. So. If you're coming here, you gotta come super early if you want to get a seat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so, can I get a bag to go, please? Okay. And lastly, Mark's Pepper Mill. Hello, sirs. Hi, sir. Can I get a beef teriyaki, please, to go? Paleoko, take out teriyaki beef. Hey. Yeah, they stole all my change, man. That's all I got. Oh. Yes. That's good. That's good. So yummy. Very young. You guys want to say hello to my vlog? Hey, what's up, hey, vlog? What's, up? what's your name? Yeah. My name is Kyle. My name Kyle. is Gia. My name is Junard. Oh, wow. How old yeah. are you guys? Uh, 24. I'm 18. 18. Nice. You guys all single? Have girlfriends? Married. Yeah, married. He's married? Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, handsome guy. Three children. Yeah. No, they Three children. Three children. He's married to that guy? He's married. <laughs> Four children. Okay, Four kids. Okay. Can I give him? Oh, my. Thank you, guys. Filipinos are, and sometimes people say, oh, it's because you have a camera. I'm like, well, I don't have a camera right now, and he goes talk to me just fine, right? Yeah. Uh, it's called Living Abroad. Living Abroad. Yeah, so what's your name? I'm Ira. Uh, are you over 18? How old are you? I'm 24. How old are you? 23. And what's your name? Mary Ann. And what about yourself? Uh, I'm 20 years old. I'm Gary. Okay, and do you guys see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you working here, or are you just hanging out? What are you doing right now? Uh, Actually, we we're working, working here, and we just got out from work, and we had some ice cream. Okay, yeah. nice. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to show people how friendly Filipinos are, right? Uh, do you get a lot of foreigners that talk to you out in public, like I am, or no? Not really. This is, your, this, this is the first, first time. time. Okay. Yeah. See you guys. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. I just got back to my place, and I'm gonna go ahead and have dinner soon. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys why I stopped and spoke to those girls randomly uh, and yeah let's go ahead and show you guys what this place looks like i'm actually staying in the um, the same building that i stayed last time if you saw that apartment tour in it park check it out right here it's not the same building it's the building next to it it's actually the avida royale towers there's six of them so this is not tower number i think there's four or five i don't know how many but the one i'm staying is number one next to me, to me is two i think that one's three four and five 
and then IT Park is right there. The location is the main reason why I chose this place. So it saves me a hassle from going somewhere uh, every day when I can just simply walk downstairs. So let me show you this apartment real quick and tell you how much I'm paying for it and who you can contact if you want to get this place for yourself. As you walk in, you have the bathroom here on my right. Let's start with the bathroom quickly. It's a nice typical bathroom with the sliding doors, which I like separating the bathroom from the shower area. It's got a water heater, a toilet, and a mirror here, and a sink. Nothing too crazy, but it works for me. And you come in here, it's got the bed there, a sofa, which I really like because it helps me edit my videos and just, you know, relax at the end of the day. A big screen TV. Oh, look at that. Who's there? That's me. Uh, windows as well, air conditioning. Um, it's got cupboard area or whatever and a very comfortable bed for me. So for me, this place, oh, let me show you the kitchen quickly before I wrap it up. And the kitchen, you got a microwave, stove top. I've never cooked anything in there. Uh, lots of cupboard space up here and a full size fridge. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared to see what's in here. I don't usually know, but let's take a look. Whoa, we got three apples, water, and some leftover, what is that? Corona and I guess some other beer somewhere left over and some snacks I have on the right side. So this apartment, I am paying 25,000 pesos uh, because it's a short term lease. I'm not signing to a six month or one year contract. And um, yeah, it's all inclusive. So I was able to get this deal for 25,000 uh, for the month. So go ahead and contact Henry. I'm gonna put his information down here. He's really helpful. He helped me out. And actually, uh, we hung out a couple times. He's a really nice guy. He does some investments and all that, so you can ask him about that. I have no idea about that, but I know when it comes to rentals, he's got multiple units in IT Park. And he was super friendly, very, very fun guy. He was really, um, had a couple little small issues. He fixed them immediately. Like the internet was very slow. He fixed it within an hour. Um, so yeah, I'm paying 25,000 pesos, about 450 USD, which is a bit more expensive than other areas, but the location, what I'm getting short term, the, the convenience of talking to Henry and just having everything sorted out. Uh, call him up, see if he's got anything available as well. He'll help you out. And what else? I'm sure you can find some cheaper areas, but it's gonna be a little bit outside of town and you might have to pay your own electricity and water. Then you gotta wait for the bill. You have to put a deposit. There's a whole bunch of headache. So if you're just flying through a city, that's the way I do it. Um, that's it for this video, guys. So that's a typical day here in the Philippines for me as a YouTuber, as a foreigner that's living in Cebu City. Uh, you know, it's very relaxing. Sometimes I go ahead and just like get a haircut at the mall or go and eat or try different cafes and, but most of the time, I'm just like really, really honestly at ease. I'm uh, very happy here in the Philippines. No complaints, nothing to say. Of course, there's some annoyances like any other country, but I still prefer living here. Um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Oh, there was an error in this video, like a small little mistake. I did it purposely. Something that was unnatural that most people don't do it. So <laughs> let me know if you caught that and leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know if you think I'm paying too much for this place. If it's a great steal. Uh, this was my apartment tour, a neighborhood tour, a typical day in my life. Uh, of course, it depends on where you live, the province or in the city. Your day can be completely different than mine. There's also a pool here that you can just want to go ahead and take a swim in the pool, which is nice. There's ample people to talk to, places to eat, cafes to try, you know and Cebu is growing, the traffic can be bad, but like, it's all part of it, right? So if you're staying a little bit outside the city center, then you have other things to uh, like do, I'm sure, and other experiences than I did. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. That's it, if you're new to the channel, you enjoyed this neighborhood tour, a typical day in my life, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and give Henry a call if you're in Cebu City IT Park, he'll take care of you for near apartments. Um, that's it, I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to think if I forgot, oh yeah, so I spoke to those girls because sometimes people say, oh, you know, you make it seem like all Filipinos are friendly, but they're not because you have a camera on your hand. As you saw, they didn't know the camera was on. They spoke to me very fine and normally. Now I'm not saying every girl here is gonna wanna be in a relationship with you. They had no intentions or wanting any kind of romantic relationship, but speaking to them is very easy. And I don't know how old you are if you're in your 80s or 70s. It might be a very different experience, but for me, I feel very comfortable. I'm very confident speaking to them because I know Filipinos and Filipinas are friendly. Worst case scenario, they'll just tell me, sorry, we're busy, we're just going, or something like that. They don't make you feel like a weirdo. I think the fact that there's so many foreigners here, the exposure, they just know that most of us, most of us tend to behave well and respectful. And I don't know, I could ramble on forever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Olympia. I don't know anything, man. Yeah, Musically, this is challenged. Guys by Bolivia. Okay. Let's go. <laughs>
Perfect. What's your name? Uh, my name is Renz. Uh, you can search Renzois, R N Z O Y Y S on Instagram. Please follow me. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I appreciate yeah. it. Shout out to my friends. friends and family <laughs> there, you know. Who's yeah. your friends and family? This is your friends. Yeah, Over here. What's your name? I'm Edsel Albarico. We actually are yeah. I'm Rose also Mike Albert from Balaton. home. Where's your home? Um, 100 wow. kilometers from here. 100 kilometers? <laughs> just yeah, just we're not joking. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we brought a tent. How old We're are you? On uh, I'm only uh, 12 years old. 12 years <laughs> Just kidding, I'm, I'm 15. 15, I'm, I'm okay. 10 years old. You're 10? Yeah. I'm I'm 10. What are you guys eating in the Philippines? You're so big. Oh. <laughs> for 10 years old. We're just eating. I rice. eat like balut. Have you tried balut? balut? No, nah, yeah. I'm, I'm too scared for balut, man. No, balut is the best. I'm yeah. sure it is, but I'm not brave enough. <laughs> it tastes like something you've tasted. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, no, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Baby bird, I'll, I'll pass on that. What's your name? I'm Etel. Oh, yeah, I asked you that. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to say, how old are you? Uh, I'm 16 years old. 16, all right, so this how is about you? I'm like 20 years older than you. Oh. Yeah, big you're 20 years old? No, 20 years older than I him. I thought you're 15 years old. Oh, hey. Hey. You guys are too nice, all right. See you guys later. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you, thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, hi, what's your name? So, my name is Satsuki. I'm cosplaying Azul Ashen Grotto from the game Twisted Wonderland. Mm, very interesting, you look great. And what about yourself? I'm actually cosplaying Chuya Nakahara from Bungo, Bungo Stray Dogs but currently I took off my weight because I had a headache. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who is this? Oh yeah, it's Azul. It's Azul. Oh, it's part of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. So you see the replica. Okay, and who are you supposed to be? Oh, so I'm not actually cosplaying at the moment but I'm wearing my um, a part of my costume. It's a Twisted Wonderland um, robe. Very interesting. Did you make it yourself? No, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you a little credit there, but okay. I, I don't have much time to make, but yeah. I actually do make my costumes, mm. but like I don't have enough time to go to college. So oh, okay. Yeah. All right, what are you studying? Psychology. Oh, very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, psychology. Is a... Okay, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Bye.